Good morning, rolling that ball. Up and down. Get that ball out of the way. And put down the fingers and into the palm. And the pad of the thumb and the pinky. And across the knuckles. And oh, let's interlace the fingers and squeeze. And let go. And squeeze. And let go. And one more time. Let's go around the back. And switch. 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 Uh, we'll go between the legs. Switch. 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 And let's see the ball on the ground. Come on up. Assess how your feet feel. And then step on the ball <clears throat> and press down three times. Move it up to the knuckles. Press once, going across. And roll it across the knuckles. Roll it down each of the bones. Bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Put it in the crease between the toes and the knuckles and scrunch. Release and separate the toes. Scrunch again. Middle of the foot and wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one, and go. Reassess. Go to the other foot. Same thing. Press down three times. Knuckles. Rotate on the heel. Slide it down the bones. Bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Bring it to the crease and scrunch. Let's 
Separate the toes. Scrunch. Wiggle the toes. And the scribble. Three, two, one, let go. Get the ball out of the way. Reassess. Now let's do some wood chops. We'll do seven in the middle, seven on either side. Hinging at the waist, keeping the head back, spine neutral. Okay, come up. When you're done, shake the tree. Two breaths. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center. Let's just do Michael Wynn's energy grounding exercise, shifting the weight from one side to the other, one channel to the other, through the hips, soles of the feet. Think of uh, a triangle, the heel, And then uh, behind the big toe and behind the pinky, equal weight on each. Start moving your hands. And bringing the heel up as you raise the foot. Expanding. Lower your hands. And three, two, one. Deep breath and uh, march in place or jog. So today we're going to be doing uh, the lower body set to the core of things like um, standing knee drives and hinges and Probably uh, bird dog or dead bug, not sure which yet. Hollow hold. No, um, no squats. 
So do whatever you want to do to get that heart rate going in a few minutes, three seconds here. Just be safe. You can continue doing what you're doing. That's where you're at this morning. I think, I think I'm going to sprint for 25 seconds in five. Be safe. Four, three, two. Nineteen twenty. Twenty-four and twenty-five. Oof, two deep breaths. Interlace those fingers. Bring them up over the head. Reach up. And extend back. Nice, good, big stretch. Come back to center. And bend to one side. Bend the other. Come back to center. Slowly lower the hands, press out of the chest. Come down, interlace the hands behind the back and raise them up, squeezing scapula together. Going a little higher. Oh. And come down, shake them out, and shrug. And roll back. And forward. Bend the arms and rotate. Switch directions. One uh, palm down, one palm up, flip flop. Bring one arm across the body, right below the neck, pressing on the elbow. And then the other. One hand behind the back, pressing down. And the other. Grab the elbows with your hands and rock back and forth. Side to side, I should say. And come down, rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. And go ear to shoulder.
Bring the head in, tuck in the chin. Yeah, and peck. Like a pigeon. Now keep that chin in and look to one side. Drop your chin to your collarbone, or at least towards it. And then look up. Back to center. Chin still tucked. Look the other way. Drop the chin. And look up. Come back to center. Do a lunge. Side, side lunge. Stretch the adductors. And then the other way. And let's go up and grab a stick. We'll get the hamstrings and calves with the stick. We're going to do the dynasty stick routine going behind the back. And then switch directions. Gonna get that right. And then keep it back there, separate your hands and oscillate back and forth. Drop the stick lower on the back, hands out, one foot forward, and twist it to waist. Positions of the feet. Continue twisting. Bring the feet together. Drop the stick to just above the knee. Bring your hands out in front between your legs and pull up. Hinging slightly at the waist. Push your knees or bend. And then bring the stick up in front. Step back. You have both hands on top. And stretch out. Take the stick and move it across your body. Bring your arm underneath the other armpit and grab your shoulder and pull. Take your hinge at the waist. And then bring the stick into the other hand, cross the body. Other hand goes on top of the shoulder and pull. Come up, stick goes into the side of the foot. Top hand is pushing away while the bottom hand is pulling the stick towards you. Stretching the side. And the shoulder. 
and then switch to the other side, same thing. And then bring the stick, uh, bring one foot forward, bring the stick behind the heel, calf, thigh and hip, and bend into it, hinging at the waist, keeping the spine neutral, stretching the hamstring. Line up, other, other leg comes out front, stick goes behind, into the waist. And come up, stick out in front, put the sole of the foot against it, press into the stick, stretch that cap. And then get the other calf. And then put the stick in front. Front leg is at 90 degrees. Back leg goes back. You can keep, you can stay on the ball of your foot, which you're really stretching here are the hip flexors rather than the um, calf. And come up and switch the position of the legs, get the other side. Come up, bring one foot up, switch, uh, stretch the quads, grabbing by the shin or ankle or toes. And then the other. Then bring the first foot in front and hinge at the waist. Stretch in the hip. Loops. Back up, switch the position of the stick to the other side, bring the other foot up, hinge at the waist. And come up, put the stick in front, We'll go up on our toes for a second and then back on our heels for a second, 15 times. Two, three. 10. And 15. Okay. Let's sit down, get ready to do some lower body exercise, starting with a standing knee drive from a sprinter stance. So rather than just come up like this, we're going to put that one foot back and come up like that. Swing the arms. And only go back as far as you feel safe and comfortable doing. Three, that's five, six, seven, same foot, eight, nine, 
and then the other side, this foot goes back. No, this foot goes back. <laughs> ah, one, two, three. Eight, nine, and ten. And then step back for a second, take a deep breath. Start to hinge at the waist, bend those knees. You're gonna come down on your hands, each your way out into a plank and come back. I'm only gonna do three of these. One, which worms. Two, and down last time, we'll stay on the floor and come down on your knees. All right, and the turn, I'm gonna switch the camera now. We're on all fours. And do some bird dogs. Um, again, you're doing one hand and the opposite leg. So I've got my left hand and arm and right foot and uh, leg out. We're going to hold for five and then bring the elbow and knee together if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. And if you have a problem doing both the arm and leg at the same time, alternate through the arms um, on one uh, round and then do the legs the next time. All right, so we're gonna start with left hand, right foot, one, two, three, four, five. You can bring elbow to knee, extend out again, and then come down. Right hand, left foot out, one, two, Three, four, five, elbow to knee, extend out, come down. Left hand, right foot, one, two, three, four, five, elbow to knee, extend out, come back. Right hand, left foot, one, two, three, four, five, Elbow to knee, extend, come back. We're going to do two more on each side. Left hand, right foot, two, three, five. Elbow to knee, extend, and back. Right hand, left foot, one, two, three, four, five. Elbow to knee, extend and back. Last one, left hand, right foot, three, four, five, elbow to knee, extend and back, right hand, left foot, three, four, five, elbow to knee, extend out, come back, and roll over. We lie down and do a hollow hold. Not dissimilar to what we do in the five Tibetans, except we're going to hold a little longer. And there's variations on ways to progress this. I'll come in a little bit. So you're going to pick your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground as the same at the same time that you lift the soles of your feet and hold. Now, if you want to progress it, you put your legs up in the air and making it a little bit more difficult would be to lower them and hold them straight out. So I'm going to assume we're all at about 10 now, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, and then come down to rest.
again, um, do whatever level feels right for you. And if, if uh, you can't hold it for 20, just come down. And we're going to do one more. Ready? Up. One, two, you can just bring your soles of your feet, you can go up in the air, or you can come and bring your feet down a little lower, making it difficult, more difficult. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And slide down, take a nice two breaths. Great for the core. So standing up and rubbing our hands together, cultivating chi and moving from one leg to the other with that chi ball. As it's dancing every which way. And it's expanding and contracting. And we're centering with two breaths. And open our hearts. Pause and exhale. Center, two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And bring it up from below. And aha, namaste. Thank you, Tom. Thank hey, you. Hey, Chuck, very, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank Have you a good Tom. one. Nina, take care. Hey, Suzanne. Richard, oh. how? It is a um, yin yoga day or restorative flow yoga. I found an old manual I had, which has many of these moves and it was called restorative flow. I like that. It's a little longer, but let me get the timer. And I'll meet you on the floor in the cat position is where we're gonna start. in 14 seconds. Four, three, cat. 
And I'm gonna make that a little louder for you. You're in cat.
fly. Um, have a great yeah. day. You too, thank you. Um, Suzanne, have a great you too. Your friend okay? Yes, but, well, not really, but we're over a couple of crises. Thank you, thank you. He Name? Solo? Keeping one? my fingers crossed. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one more hour. One more hour. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Tom, Tom, my friend had a really bad case of COVID and some symptoms come back. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Well, I know, I know it can be persistent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's called the long, long haul. He's oh, a long okay. hauler. Yeah, yeah. Take care. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Richard. Hey, Tom. Yes.